EWB team uh, is very, very important to our communities and it is a very nice connection between this program and Karu College to have them come to Uganda to make a difference in our communities in terms of water and sanitation. And we have already seen great, the great impact it has done to our communities. Having these students coming to Uganda and the professors and the engineers, now we have three wells in, in, in our village and the quality of life has really improved. Our connection to Father Julius came to be through the Diocese of Helena and the Cathedral Parish. Marty Heller then invited us to meet with Father Julius, and at that time we started exploring the possibility of engaging Carroll students by working through EWB with Father Julius uh, in Uganda on projects there that were important for him. It's not just engineering, it's really involving a whole array of disciplines at Carroll. You need to know something about the sociology of the culture, the history, uh, the medical needs, in addition to just being able to make engineering solutions of particular problems. When students arrived on the ground, one of the first things that was echoed pretty loudly was water. Not only clean water, but more water. A lot of Eastern Africa is experiencing severe drought, and Kwanga wasn't a special case. This created a three-phase project, and we just implemented phase one in January 2018. So essentially what happened was they had three existing boreholes that had been contaminated with rust. So we pulled all of that out and replaced it with PVC pipe and stainless steel rods, putting in new pumps and new material to avoid all of that um, future corrosion. Being part of an EWB team and just being involved um, has really grown my community since I've been at Carroll and I've met so many kids um, that I wouldn't, from other disciplines that I would have, wouldn't have known otherwise. I feel so much more confident in my classwork. I feel so much confident in who I am as a student and as a professional. Without safe water and clean water, life is always a mess. So when you have clean and safe water, that's life.